Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. So, yesterday night uh, at around, uh, I think, one o'clock, one or two o'clock in the night, I was, uh, you know, my WhatsApp groups are there, they keep sending information. So, as I was uploading the videos, I, uh, you know, finalizing, suddenly one of my friends, she is uh, ex Miss Miss World or Miss Universe contestant, and uh, she's a fitness fanatic. She, even though she's Indian, she discusses with me, uh, uh, you know, about MMA fights, about boxing. She's a South Indian girl, okay, from Kerala, but she is, you know, she's not like the typical. Indian girls. So she was talking, she just sent me a message stating that isn't it so shocking that uh, so many uh, athletes are dying one by one, uh, you know, especially bodybuilders. So I was like, uh, yeah, okay, whatever. I didn't think much about it. You know, because she just put a blanket statement that you know, people are dying, okay. Then when I check the other groups just to see hmm, is there any update or am I missing out on anything? I saw the um, video, I, I, I saw the link that said uh, Sean Roden, who is the 2018 Mr. Olympia, the bodybuilder, you know, the bodybuilding contest for the best of the best in the world. He has died. I was absolutely shocked. I was like, what? Uh, I, I think my response was, fuck, no way. What? Like, I couldn't believe it. It was not possible. I immediately Google searched just to make sure this was not a hoax. And lo and behold, it was mentioned in the papers. I uh, just imagine this same guy um, just a few hours ago, just a few hours ago, he posted that he was going to make a comeback. You know, the motivational posts, like, uh, like in that he said, brick by brick, you know, we will be back and he was preparing to make a comeback. I mean, the, just imagine his, his mindset that he finished a workout and he said, yeah, I'll be back, you know, uh, we'll prepare for this. And I think he also put a post that you come to know who your real friends are through life. Yeah, you know, stuff that you believe that, like how I'm talking to you, I'm making this video because I know that I will upload it later. I know that I will eat food with my family later. I know that I, I will talk to a client, I know that I will play a game on my PC and I know I'll go to sleep. So we, we take life for granted because we know that this is what I normally do. And imagine he also knew that this is what he was normally going to do like every other day. And he, next thing you know, I think, I don't know, he, did he go to sleep and he died or he got a heart attack and he died. The thing that uh, really hits me is, yeah, one of the things is, is my age, 46, no, he is for, uh, 46, I'm 40, going to be 45, is nearly my age. 
I mean, um, okay, uh, I, I know for a fact you'll say that bodybuilding, extreme bodybuilding is unhealthy, steroids is unhealthy. Okay, fine, all that. Fine, I, I agree. I'm not disagreeing. Okay, smoking, drinking, all, all these things that we do, eating unhealthy, all contributes to either our health or our death. Okay, so I'm not... I'm not wanting to get into that, but I mean, you know, when you think about life and when you think about people who you know, you admire, who you follow, people you relate to, you feel there is a bond, there's a connection between them and all of a sudden they die. You know, you feel as if something like someone in your family died. You feel as if, uh, you know, like a part of you is dead. Like just imagine, like, you know, I've openly said it. One day I'm going to die. I know, I know for a fact. I don't know when. It's going to be maybe today, tomorrow. And, you know, sometimes people say, hey, Loyal, listen, don't talk like this. No, it's a fact, man. He, you know, people say, oh, you'll jinx it. And uh, there's no jinx and pinks and this is all bullshit, man. When you have to die, when your time is up, your time is up. Just because someone says, oh, I, I don't want to die, it doesn't mean that he's not going to die. Or someone says, oh, I wish I die, he's going to die faster. Like that, uh, you know, uh, there's one Indian actor. I don't know much about him. It seems he's some Kannada, South Indian actor. A good looking guy, a really nice looking guy. And when he died, I didn't know anything about him. I still don't even know his name uh, properly, like I can't remember it. But what m made his death stand out? He was also as old as me, like in the 40s. And when he died, I mean, people were sad, they were moaning, they were crying. India was afraid of violence erupting. And then later on, I came to know this man donated money to orphanages, to the poor, to the needy. He did a lot of good things for people. And uh, after he died, he donated his eyes. He actually donated his eyes and parts of his eyes were used to save four people. Uh, you know, like, I don't know how science works, but his, both his eyeballs, parts of it were taken to help four people gain their eyesight back thanks to him you know so you know in my group one of the guys who is a big fan of his this guy is a very rough and tough and you know young chap uh, he and I always clash where he's a BJP supporter I am like you know I'm a neutral guy so I noticed he he became quiet all of a sudden. He didn't post anything, he didn't share anything, he didn't get into fights or arguments with anyone. He loves, he's a fiery personality. When this actor died, he, he just went silent. So, you know, naturally, even though I argue with him and all that, I sent him a message. I said, hey man, everything okay? Like, you know, <laughs> I kind of miss your, uh, you know, stupid comments and uh, miss arguing with you. So he told me, Loy sir, I, this film actor died and all that. Now it's not worshipping a film actor, it's not hero worship. This man contributed to the good of society. And this young boy, he used to emulate him. He used to also do things for poor. He used to help others because he was inspired by this man. And when someone who you look up to as your teacher or someone who motivates you to greatness or goodness, they die, it really breaks your heart, you know. See, I, I'm a casual bodybuilding fan. I'm not a hardcore one. I do pay attention to lots of the uh, bodybuilding, you know, big contests. I like to see these uh, you know, finalists, especially the big names, because I study the branding, the personal branding, 
it helps me in my business to learn and understand, analyze. So I study these characters and also as a competitive guy and also as an ex-bodybuilder, uh, like just as a hobby. I am very passionate. That's why I follow this. So when someone dies, like see, I'll show you. This is my landlord. He is 92 years old. Ah, uh, Baba. He's 92 years old, this man. Let that sink in. <laughs> 92. Now you'll say he's healthy because he follows healthy life. He smokes, he drinks. <laughs> he's 92, but he works like this. I don't know. It's unbelievable. He can even climb a tree yeah, by himself. Sometimes I look, he, he goes all the way up, like, you know, up, up like this tree. I'm like, what the hell is he doing? You know, like, <laughs> I can't even climb like one step up. This guy climbs the whole bloody thing. <sighs> anyway, the, you know, mm, when, when you, when someone who you relate to is dead or dies, someone that inspired you or someone that gives you the sense of joy in your heart and you lose them, it's, it's pretty, it really wakes you up. It really, like, you know, it's like someone just took uh, something and gave you a slap and just woke you up. It really wakes you up. Like, it's, it's not that I've lived in La La Land and I don't think nothing is going to happen. But, you know, you just think like, what the hell is this life here? You and I don't know when we are going to <laughs> die. We have no fucking idea, man. No idea. But the, <laughs> but the funny thing is, when we are alive, uh, one way, instead of instead of celebrating life, instead of being happy, you look at the clouds. Looks nice, huh? Beautiful, man. So many days of rain. So, like I was saying, instead of celebrating life, sometimes enjoying the small moments, we spend our whole life just worrying, being stressed out, and money, and career, and future, and... <laughs> And if you're young, oh, who will love me and who's my girlfriend? <laughs> how many likes on Facebook? Nowadays it is, how many likes on Facebook? How many comments on Facebook? And, oh, who said what? And Once you're dead, it's finished, no? I know, you'll say heaven and hell and all that. Once you're dead, it's finished, man. Just think. From beginning of this year, how many people have died? Or do you know anyone who has died? After they die, life goes on. People go on with their own shit. And you tend to be forgotten. Nobody remembers you <laughs> after some time. Like, we, like, you know, you get these fighters who say, Oh, my legacy, oh, my future. What fuck legacy, what fuck future. They'll just talk about you here and there. Eventually, when the new generation comes, you'll be just... If you're famous, you'll be a page in history. Otherwise... Where you'll be buried, just maybe a few people will come and say, Oh, this is my grandfather, my great-grandfather. Until one day, even they discontinue and say, Who the fuck is this? Funny, no? How life is. <laughs> so funny. I think when I die, I'll donate my organs and and put my skin for <laughs> display in a museum. <laughs> yeah. After the body is dead, instead of giving it to the worms, give it to somebody. I've I've seen. I've actually seen a live autopsy. Live means real autopsy of a fresh body. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. If you have the stomach for it, just search on YouTube. But be careful, huh? be careful. It's very, very, very graphic. You're actually going to see a human body.
cut open it's a, like meat and this is a fresh body so it's not yellow or something it's a natural color oof oh one of the most graphic things i've ever seen it's like you know we are just made of meat and bones man meat blood bones and all the intestine and <laughs> what's what are we just meat bones blood as long as we are alive we show off look at my body oh the girls will show oh my bum oh my boobs oh my this oh my that <sighs> and one day when you die finish all over anyway i i just wanted to share this man it's it constantly wakes you up to the reality that you don't know when it's your number next you don't know when you're going to be next you know uh but like i say you know it's uh um, i know people ask me these questions like what's the purpose of life and what's the meaning of life and i just tell people it's whatever you give man whatever meaning you give that's your purpose there's no one size fits all purpose you ask a religious guy he'll tell you religious stuff you ask a a free guy he'll give you some free minded stuff you ask someone who believes we are nothing and it's whatever meaning you give it's your life no? one thing i before i die want to have uh, like 10 million us dollars <laughs> build a house like this is my 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 dream my goal like before i die just have a house for this wife and daughter have a house which they can call their own and have some money in the bank where they don't have to worry you know for a couple of years and uh, just make sure that uh, you know the transition is done properly because uh, after i'm dead finish it's like going to sleep you don't know anything nothing exists so what do i have to live for what my youtube channel my online brand all that when uh, i die it's going to eventually stop so what's going to be left what's going to be left is only you know just uh, for my baby and wife hmm. you can't take your car you can't take your house you can't take your property You can't take your reputation. You can't take your toys. You can't take your MacBook Pro, your iPhone, your girlfriend, your big name in society, your achievements, certificates. Can't take any of it. Anyway, just wanted to share these thoughts with you and let me know what do you think. All right, let me sign off. guys take care yeah yeah i know what you're thinking you can get a job in the middle east simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke remember that competition is everywhere some here some there but bam loy macedo is the best 